Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. If you have a client or a patient or family member or friend or loved one that you want help weaning themselves off or weaning them off of uh, their medication and on a good nutritional supplement program, our number today, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or anything we're speaking about here today or comments or success stories, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and order products right off the site, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com as well. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben, phone, uh, Brightside ben team. You can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can order, you can sign up uh, right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. And if you're interested in checking out any of our Brightside Health products. Go to brightsidehealth.com. Take a look at our CBD oil made organically here in Colorado by my good friend Ed Learberger at Pure Hemp Technologies. If you're dealing with anxiety issues, seizure issues, fibrosis, we talked, we've been talking about fibrosis and we'll continue talking about fibrosis. It turns out that cannabinoids have anti-fibrotic properties. If you're dealing with heart disease or uterine fibrosis or pulmonary fibrosis, you may want to check out our Pure Hemp Technologies CBD oil made uh, made right here in Colorado. You can check it out at brightsidehealthproducts.com, brightsidehealthproducts.com. Okay, so we're continuing uh, our discussion here on the miraculous nature of connective tissue, the underappreciated, understudied, underrecognized, underacknowledged cause of aging and most chronic degenerative diseases. Most chronic degenerative diseases have some kind of uh, relationship to the degradation, deterioration of connective tissue. Certainly in the skincare world, degradation of connective tissue is responsible for a lot of misery and a lot of dollars spent. If you want an anti-aging or anti-wrinkle skin care product, you got to know about the connective tissue. Your skin health product has to be able to address the connective tissue in the skin. It's not that easy to do. There's only two active ingredients that can address the connective tissue in the skin, vitamin C and vitamin A. That is vitamin C in its fat-soluble form and vitamin A in its retinol or retinoic acid form. Now, retinoic acid requires a prescription, but retinol does not. And if you're interested in anti-aging skin health products, if you're interested in driving the production of connective tissue, which is what collagen is, if you're interested in driving the production of connective tissue, which is what anti-aging is, if you're dealing with photo-damaged skin or accelerated aging of any kind in the skin, you need to be using topical vitamin A, retinol, and topical vitamin C in its fatty form. Where do you find it? Check out our products at truthskinhealth.com. Internally, same thing. You can't make connective tissue without vitamin C, and vitamin A is also extremely important for the production of connective tissue. And if you understand that aging and 
disease or largely about deterioration of the connective tissue, well, then it's just an obvious jump to understanding how important supplementing with vitamin C is and supplementing with vitamin A is, among other nutritional supplements. As we age and as the degenerative effects of nutritional deficiencies, which are common, as the degenerative effects of toxicity, which is common, and by the way, I'm including chlorinated water as a connective tissue toxin, chlorine that is, as the degenerative effects of low blood oxygen, hypoxia, and mechanical trauma from wear and tear, and emotional and mental stresses, as all of these, uh, as all the degenerative aspects of all these issues occur and start to build up and accrue, our bodies break down at the connective tissue level. And as these breakdowns, as these connective tissue breakdowns occur, and as they do not get repaired because we're missing key nutrients, because we're uh, accumulating toxicity, and sugar's a toxin, by the way. Sugar is very anti-connective tissue. In fact, that's one of the major problems with elevated blood sugar is it destroys connective tissue. Elevated blood sugar destroys connective tissue as much as any toxin does. That's why I call sugar a toxin. As all of these things start to build up, nutritional deficiencies, accumulation of sugar, elevated blood sugar, accumulation of toxicity, low blood oxygen, mechanical trauma, emotional and mental stresses, elevated cortisol, as all of this starts to build up, the connective tissue inevitably begins to break down. And as that connective tissue breaks down, that's where we run into problems. Not just because the connective tissue breaks down, certainly that's an issue. But even worse, when the connective tissue breaks down, the immune system becomes alerted. The immune system reacts to deteriorating connective tissue. That is so, so, so important. The immune system, the body's defense system, regards broken down connective tissue as an enemy. This is, by the way, one of the sources or one of the initi initiating causes of autoimmune diseases. The connective tissue breaking down over and over again in response to toxicity, specifically from food. I know I've been talking about connective tissue a long time, for weeks, and we're going to we're going to talk about it more. I'm going to talk about this, something called the fascia, which is a, a incredibly important aspect of the connective tissue. Uh, probably tomorrow, or certainly over the next coming days, connective tissue. It's impossible to overstate its importance when it comes to disease, and nobody's talking about it. Once the connective tissue breaks down, the immune system becomes alerted. It reacts to this de de degenerated and deteriorating connective tissue with an inflammatory response. This inflammatory response is a good thing temporarily or in the short term, but it's a very bad thing when it's chronic. So chronically damaged connective tissue initiates a chronic immune system uh, repair, repair process or the repair mechanism kicks in. In, in response to the de degenerating connective tissue, you get inflammation. The inflammation then turns into fibrosis, which is a, a hardening, a walling off of that connective tissue area, of that inflamed area, and this is where we become sick. This is where we become diseased. This is where we age. Fibrosis equal, excessive fibrosis equals aging. It equals cancer. It equals diseases of all kinds, and it's all about the connective tissue. The fibrosis may start off microscopically, as all damage to the body does, but over the course of time, the fibrosis gets more and more severe. The fibrosis becomes more and more significant. This is why so many of our health challenge, challenges involve fibrosis and fiber formation because of broken down connective tissue. And this is obvious when you hear terms like uterine fibrosis fibrosis or pulmonary fibrosis or cystic fibrosis. But it's less obvious when you just talk about hardening of the arteries or sclerosis or stenosis. These are all fibrotic conditions in response to broken down connective tissue. Now we've been talking a lot about heart disease. And by the way, this includes just ordinary aging. Even if you're perfectly healthy, but you're aging, you're getting older, you're perfectly healthy, but you notice your body is shortening or you notice your muscles are so are tight you notice that uh, you don't have the same flexibility. This is all about the connective tissue. We've been talking a lot here about heart disease, which is the leading cause of death and misery in this country and around the world. You know, 18 million people die every year around the world from heart disease. In this country, uh, it's in the, somewhere in the millions. All right, we are back on the bright side. Got lines open for you at 844 
844-236-6010. I am pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, and we're on the air. Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the U.K. for setting that up. Also, uh, you can purchase Longevity products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can make some money if you're entrepreneurially minded. This is a great way to start a business. We can help change the world together. You can make money and help change the world for the better, help improve lives, improve your life as well. You can find out all all about the longevity business and longevity products by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866 735 2470 or heading over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, connective tissue building products, that's what this is all about. That's what we've been talking about on this program. That's what my products are all about. That's what anti-aging is about. That's what health and beauty is about. Health and beauty in that order. Beauty follows health. Vitamin A and vitamin C. Rich Truth Skin Health Products at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Okay. So uh, heart disease. Uh, by the way, heart disease kills 600,000 plus Americans. I, I misspoke. Uh, at the end of the le- last segment, 600,000 Americans, 610,000 Americans die every year from heart disease. 18 million people around the world. It is a serious problem, obviously. And it's largely a connective tissue problem. In my personal opinion, this ignorance around connective tissue by both physicians, by both the medical model, as well as the general public, is a huge, huge problem. It's what, it's what allows us to be mechanically carved up, have devices inserted in, into us and pharmacologically manipulated with drugs and, and, and poisoned for our own health benefits, supposedly. It's this lack of understanding of the general breakdown of the body that is behind all health challenges, including heart disease. If most chronic degenerative diseases are based in the connective tissue, heart disease, cardiovascular disease is no different. And in this way, general health strategies, the kind of things that support the health of the entire body, are what we need to be focusing on to keep our hearts healthy. And I know I've said this this so many times. Once we understand that diseases are not special, they're generic, we will have no need for specialists. Specialists never help anybody get better. That's because the body doesn't break down specially. It breaks down generically, generally. And whether it shows up in the heart or the bones or the skin or anywhere else in the body, it is a generic deterioration of the body. And that means building connective tissue is as important for the heart as it is for the bones, as it is for the joints, as it is for the skin, as it is for any other part of the body. And once we understand the fallacy, the utter stupidity of the pharmacomedical model for dealing with chronic degenerative diseases, once we understand this, we are going to be so much healthier and so much better for it. Now, anybody who's had heart disease, or even if you haven't, knows about the statin drugs and this cholesterol hypothesis. And you know what? Once we understand the generic nature, the breakdown nature, the, uh, the, the generic way the body deteriorates and how it shows up in the heart, we will be throwing out our statin drugs. Merck will have to have come up with another way of poisoning us, and Pfizer and all the drug companies. The cholesterol hypothesis will go on, on the ash heap of bad scientific ideas, which it is. We will understand how stupid it is to throw out our egg yolks to protect our heart. The stupidity, and I still hear physicians and people who should know better talking about this cholesterol hypothesis. Even the government recognizes that cholesterol is not the cause of heart disease. Yeah, cholesterol in the diet is not the cause of heart disease. Cholesterol in general is not the cause of heart disease. If you understand what we've been talking about here on this program when it comes to connective tissue and the heart, you're now officially smarter than your cardiologist if he's prescribing a statin drug, at least when it comes to the health of your heart. Not only is cholesterol not the direct cause of heart disease. Not only is cholesterol not the direct cause of cardiac plaques, but only a secondary phenomena. Not only is cholesterol not the direct cause of stenosis or sclerosis, 
even though it is a secondary phenomenon, obviously it's present, it's not the direct cause. Not only is it not the direct cause, but cholesterol, because it is the source of numerous heart-friendly substances, including testosterone, including vitamin D, as it turns out, statin drugs may cause as many heart problems as they supposedly prevent. Per an article in uh, the journal Expert Review of Clinical Pharmacology published in, this is, I got this from the uh, British newspaper, the Daily Express, statin drugs can, quote, cause or worsen heart failure, unquote. According to Professor Harumi Okoyama of Nagoya City University in Japan, he studied 20 research papers on statins. Statin drugs that are prescribed not just in this country, but all over the world to prevent heart disease could actually be a cause of heart disease. Now, this seems like a paradox. Statin drugs cause heart disease? I thought statin drugs were protecting me from heart disease. Well, this paradox, supposed paradox, makes perfect sense if you understand a little biochemistry, which you guys do if you've been listening to this program, but clearly many doctors and cardiologists don't. According to Dr. Okuyama, quote, we have collected a wealth of information on cholesterol and statins from many published papers and find overwhelming evidence that these drugs accelerate hardening of the arteries and can cause or worsen heart failure, unquote. Dr. Okuyama continues, quote, I cannot find any evidence to support people taking statins and pati patients who are on them should stop, unquote. He's right. Statin drugs suppress vital biochemistry. Testosterone is one of the most heart-friendly substances, real testosterone, your body, not the drug testosterone I'm not talking about, but uh, testosterone that your body makes is one of the most important heart-friendly substances in the body. I've got a paper here I was going to read to you, and I can't seem to find it now. Where is it? Uh, from, this is from Science Daily. A new multi-year study from the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute in Salt Lake City shows that testosterone may help elderly men with low testosterone levels and pre-existing coronary artery disease reduce their risks of major adverse cardiovascular events. Testosterone protects the heart, according to this article, and according to biochemical common sense, yet statin drugs suppress the production of, cholesterol, of testosterone in addition to cholesterol. One of the most obvious problems with statin drugs is the suppression of the super duper uber important molecule called coenzyme Q10. This is so significant. The, the suppression of CoQ10 by statin drugs is so significant that anybody on a statin drug has to be supplementing with CoQ10. If you know anybody on a statin drug, get them some CoQ10 for Christmas. Just get them CoQ10. CoQ10 is incredibly important for cardiovascular health and statin drugs selectively suppress it. The same chemistry that's involved in the production of cholesterol is in the, involved in the production of CoQ10, one of the heart's most important nutrients. Although not essential, the body can make it. It's not like vitamin C or other nutrients, other essential nutrients, it's still darn important. The same raw material that makes cholesterol and that is suppressed by statin drugs is involved in the production of CoQ10. Sorry, I got so much more to say here about the heart and connective tissue, CoQ10. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more good health information. And you and your phone calls, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll be back right after this. Back on the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. Try to, try to call in early if you wait till the end uh, end of the program. Probably going to get, uh, probably won't get to you. So try to call in early if you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program. If you have questions about the skin, skin health issues. I've been working with the skin now for 30 plus years as a compound pounding pharmacist actually in the laboratory making skincare products for individual patients. That's how I discovered the power of vitamin C and vitamin A. I noticed that these were the two most important topical healing ingredients that you could use for burnt skin, for broken skin, for wounded skin, for traumatized skin, for pre and post surgical skin. And then I just extrapolate it, I extrapolate it out because uh, aging or anti-aging is healing. 
So it turns out that the same ingredients that are important for healing the skin are also important for anti-aging the skin. Of course, you also want to make sure that you've got the right delivery system because it's not just the active ingredients, but they have to be delivered. And thus was born my Truth Skin Health products, which represent the culmination of everything I've learned in 32 years of working with the skin as a compounding pharmacist and as a researcher and as a therapist. It's a guy making the products and is a guy working with patients. You know, the doctor on TV that supposedly he's making the product, he ain't making no products. He doesn't know nothing about how you make products. He's calling a guy like me up to make his products. That's very offensive to anybody who understands skin, how skincare products are formulated. Type doctors telling you, oh, I formulated this and I formulated that. Baloney. Baloney. Anyway. Truth Skin Health Products, uh, uh, truthtreatments.com is where you'll find all my Truth Skin Health Products, truthtreatments.com. Okay, 4423661010 is our number on the bright side. Hang on, and we'll get to you in just a minute. Uh, a couple articles I want to read to you. This one is from the, uh, journal, uh, the journal Functional Ingredients. CoQ10 lowers cholesterol by 12.7%. Yes, CoQ10 is a natural statin drug, and of course, it's good for you. It's good for your heart. It's good for your brain. It's good for your liver. It's important for detoxification. It's important for energy if you're dealing with chronic fatigue syndrome, and it lowers cholesterol at the same time. Not that you really want to be focusing on lowering cholesterol, but... If you do, CoQ10 is a natural statin drug, according to the journal Functional Ingredients. New study uncovers unexpected anti-aging benefit of vitamin D. This is from the journal Cell Reports. It appears that vitamin D has much wider effects than previously recognized, recognized, according to researchers at Buck University in Northern California. Vitamin C deficiencies associated with breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer. It is an anti-aging longevity vitamin. And guess what? It's derived from cholesterol. In fact, I call it a version of cholesterol. Vitamin D is a type of cholesterol. Cholesterol that's stored in your skin is tweaked. It's activated. It's electrically turned on, if you will, by the sun. Cholesterol plus the sun equals vitamin D. And oh, by, I don't know if you knew this, but vitamin D has to be turned on to make active vitamin D. The vitamin D that we take as supplements or the vitamin D that's made in the skin, that has to be activated in the, in the liver and to a certain extent in the intestines and the kidney as well, probably in other places of the body too. It's not just taking vitamin D. You got to make sure your liver's working correctly. You got to make sure your intestinal health. You got to make sure your, your intestines are healthy. Kidneys are healthy. This is one of the reasons why diabetics are at risk for stones, calcium stones, because they're not processing calcium correctly because they're not activating their vitamin D. Heartburn drugs linked to increased risk of stroke. How do you like that? Also, uh, possible links to dementia and kidney disease as well. And this is an, an analysis of almost 250,000 medical records in Denmark that found an association with heartburn, uh, heartburn drugs, so-called PPI drugs, Nexium and, and, and Prilosec, uh, those types of drugs. Well, of course that's going to happen because these kinds of drugs cannot help but suppress the absorption of key minerals and vitamins. Folks, there's no such thing as a drug that isn't going to have a long-term negative impact on your health if you take it for if you take it chronically. Perhaps if you take it periodically, the body is remarkably effective at detoxification. But when you're pounding the body with drugs on a daily basis, and if you include multiple drugs a day on a multiple day, uh, multiple times a day basis, there is no way you are not going to suffer from some kind of long-term health challenge. And even if you don't notice, it may just cause your ultimate accelerated demise, which is highly unfortunate considering you're taking the drugs to live longer and to be healthier. That's called an oxymoron. Taking drugs to get healthy is a classic oxymoron, like jumbo shrimp as George Carlin used to say. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got lines open for you. Let's go north to Alaska and welcome Elaine to The Bright Side. Hey, Elaine. Hi, can you hear me all right? I hear you all right. Where are you in Alaska? Are you in the frontier? Are you in uh, the big city? Ed- How about the edge of the frontier? Where are you? Uh, it's just outside of uh, Anchorage. It's a town called Eagle River. Oh, yeah, I know where you are. I was there, I was there a couple months ago. 
And really? man, is that beautiful. Yeah, I was in, uh, yeah. I was in Anchorage, and then we, I drove around a little bit and uh, past Eagle River. And I'm telling you, that is one beautiful drive and beautiful state. Yeah. Holy no, moly. It's hard to even describe it. I'm from Colorado. It's like Colorado on steroids. It is uh, unbelievable. Yeah, I'm, also, I'm also from Colorado, so it's, it's kind okay. of he- heaven number one and heaven number two. It's amazing, amazing. Where in Colorado are you from? Uh, originally, um, just outside of Denver, Lakewood, and went to school okay. in Boulder, actually. Oh, you no way. When did, can I ask you when you graduated? Uh, I graduated in 94. Okay. My husband graduated okay. in 92. You're young in then. I graduated in 86 from Boulder, from pharmacy school in Boulder. So, good. what's going on? How can we help you today? Yeah, just a couple questions. Um, I, my, um husband he has been um diagnosed with ms and oh no how old is he he is 46 okay and his um mri from 2009 um to 2015 so over the six years um the um demyelination going on in the uh, brain and spinal cord were a, a little bit more um, accelerated, so his neurologist, um, they discussed and they chose to put him on Tecfidera, um, and he's been on that for about a year and a half, and so far MRIs have showed no more demyelina- demyelination in the spinal cord. Is, they're a little more concerned with that because there's a little less wiggle room. So basically... Is your husband, is, is he a hunter, physically active kind of guy, outdoorsy? Extent after about 20 minutes of exertion, um, kind of the right side symptoms will start coming on a little bit. All right. he, he ain't getting better from the tech, tech Federa, by the way. All right, let's be very clear here. It may slow down the development of, of the lesions and the demyelina, demyelination, but the problem is still there. What caused the MS in the first place? Now, I'm not asking this. I don't expect you to know this, but this is the question you want to ask. Is it a tech, tech Federa deficiency? Does he suffer from Tech Federa deficiency, and that's why they had to replace the Tech Federa? No. Clearly, something's going on in his body. Now, you sound like a smart gal. You went to CU, so you're probably smart. What did you graduate in? What was your degree, by the way? Uh, I finally got my master's in physical therapy. And, and oh, that's awesome. Good. We're going to download you with some powerful information. Okay. I'm not going to have to, I'm, I'm not gonna have to uh, make it simple for you. We're going we're gonna to give you some good stuff here. Hang on, okay? Don't go away, Elaine. I'm fine, Mrs. Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back with more good health information and you and your phone calls, 844-236-6010, right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. If you have questions about health, nutrition, or prescription drugs, or the longevity products, the ones I take, the ones I recommend, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off of the website. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, head to truthtreatments.com, take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel made with retinol and vitamin C, stabilized retinol, it's not going to break down, and also generally non-irritating retinol. And that's a miracle, folks. 5% retinol should tear your skin up. That's a whole bunch of retinol. But what I discovered over the course of 32 years of working with retinol is there's ways that you can formulate with the product to mitigate and reduce any inflammation or irritation that occurs and still get a big old dose of retinol if you're dealing with thinning skin, breaking down connective tissue, wrinkles, fine lines, aging. You just want to prevent those conditions. If you have hyperpigmentation or acne, you definitely want to be on retinol 5% gel or truth retinol 5% gel check it out at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com all right so we're in alaska talking to elaine uh let's see are you there elaine do we got elaine do we have elaine hi hey Hey, elaine yes so you're a physical therapist i love that you have a master's degree in physical therapy and i take it you work as a physical therapist up there Yes, I do. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so here's the deal. Multiple sclerosis is, as you know, I'm sure, an autoimmune disease. Now, an autoimmune disease is the body attacks itself. We all know this. That's uh, common knowledge, and plus it's in the term autoimmune. The body's immune system turns its weaponry on itself. But the question is why? Why is the immune system crazy? Is the immune system just an, just idiotic and stupid? Do you think anything in the body is a physical therapist, Elaine? Do you think anything in the body is just stupid and there's just mistakes? In the body? No. 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 
It's a perfect system. It's got uh, millions and even billions of years of fine tuning and refining. So if the immune system is attacking part of the body, part of the body is being perceived as the enemy, period. End of story. That's all you need to know to figure out how to deal with autoimmune disease. If the body's immune system is turning its very substantial, miraculous, magical, biological, biologically brilliant weaponry on itself, clearly it perceives the self as the enemy. It has law, it, some, something about the myelin in your case, in, or in your husband's case, something about the myelin looks foreign to the body. Something about the myelin is triggering the immune system. Does that make sense so far? Yeah. You, okay. So then the question is, is, how does the myelin become so distorted that it now is perceived as the enemy? Well, something is damaging it. Something is getting into the body inappropriately, and it's causing the myelin to become distorted. It's attacking the myelin, if you will, or it's being deposited in the myelin. It's causing a change in the myelin. The myelin is somehow being perceived as the enemy because it's distorted. This distortion almost always, in fact, I can't even think of how else it could be, comes in through the blood, which in turn becomes in, uh, uh, toxic, if you will, through the digestive system. It's a blood issue. Uh, primary, at first, it's a blood issue. Before then, uh, fundamentally, it's a digestive issue. You follow me, ma'am? Elaine, it's not a myelin issue. It's a blood issue and a digestion issue. And that's why they can, when they do tests, they look for antibodies. Did they do the antibody test where they look for antibodies? Uh, I'm, I'm sure. I, I don't okay. Know. Well, they check the blood. They look in the blood because the toxicity starts off in the blood. Or it's second in the blood. It starts off in the digestive system. So, Elaine, your poor husband, guaranteed he has a history of digestive issues. It can't be otherwise. Are you with me? Yes. Has he talked to you about that? Or do you know that? Yeah, we, you know, we tried, um, you know. Well, no, I, don't let work with me here, Elaine. Okay. Does, does, do you know that he has a history of some kind of digestive issues? Food intolerances, gluten intolerances, constipation, bloating, discomfort, anything. I know he, um, yes, yeah. History-wise, I'm talking before the MS showed up, not after the MS. Yeah, but it was only bananas. No, it was not only bananas. Come on. <laughs> it was, <laughs> you may have only known it was bananas, but it was other things, too. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not beating anybody up. I'm not trying to be mean here, okay? I'm just your physical therapist, so you're perfectly situated to work with him. Focus on the gut. If he, when he starts to, uh, when he starts to uh, uh, restrict his calories and do a food diary and eliminate foods, he's going to notice symptoms. In fact, if he fasts for three days, get him to fast for three days or do a Swero V cleanse. Are you doing longevity products up there in Alaska by any chance? Uh, yeah, we do the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and just started Selenium. Oh, good. That's all helpful. Get him on the uh, essential ultimate EFAs. And then uh, also, uh, if he doesn't want to fast totally, get him on a swear, do a swear OV cleanse. Okay? okay. And I'd be more interested to see if he could fast for, because then you'll see, he'll see clearly the relationship between his foods and his symptoms. That's what you're get, trying to get him to do, is see the connection between his lifestyle choices, specifically his food choices, and his symptoms. That's powerful, powerful information for anybody who's not hip to health or a novice in the world of health. It's powerful information to see the connection between the choices you're making, how you're living your life, and your symptoms. Then you can start to take control. Otherwise, that's, that's why we go to the doctor, is because we feel like we're out of control. This is the only reason we go to the doctor, is because we feel like we can't figure it out ourselves. We, and, and the doctor should be teaching us, but instead they just drug us. Doctor means to teach, not to drug. Right. And so what you want to do is you want him to demonstrate for him the relationship between the two, his lifestyle choices, specifically food and his symptoms. Then when he starts eating again, you're going to do the elimination diet where you write down everything you eat and then you eliminate certain foods. Right off the bat, you're going to have a problem with gluten, I'm sure, and flour. And I'm sure that's going to be there. Then dairy is probably a likely suspect. It could be peanuts, legumes. It's going to be something, and this is going to be such good news for him because he's going to feel better. Get a book called The Walls Protocol. Dr. Terry Walls, who's an MD, uh, and she's discovered this for herself. She had MS, and she discovered this link for herself. So she wrote a book about it. I've been talking about it for decades, and so is Dr. Wallach. You know what I'm saying? So you can get the book of the Walls Protocol, W-A-H-L-S, Walls Protocol. And, or you can just Google MS and fasting and MS in the diet if you want. You can all kinds of information. And then you're going to start to protect the gut. The immune system is housed in the gut. If you have an immune problem, it's just common sense that it's going to, it's going to involve the gut on some level. So after you work with the foods, you want to get him on fermented foods and probiotics. 
you're going to restore gut flora, especially after long-term digestive health issues. It's not uncommon for the gut flora to become, uh, to become thrown off, so-called dysbiosis, messed up gut flora. So get him on uh, the nightly essence, nine a day. Have him do fermented foods and vegetable juices. Vegetable juices also support digestive health. Uh, he might want to try the Fucoid Z. All, right? All of this is going to help him feel better quickly. I mean quickly, within a week. All right? Then you're going to want to start to rebuild the myelin by making sure that he's using cholesterol-containing foods as well as fatty vitamins, vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin D. I know it's hard to get sunshine there probably this time of year. Get a sun lamp that has UVB rays. Not Some of the sun lamps don't use UVB. You want to make sure that he gets a vitamin D sun lamp with UVB. And you should be doing it a couple times a week, especially in the wintertime in Alaska. Isn't it like dark for 12, 24 hours part time of the year there? This time uh, of the year? Not here. It's not, it's not too different from Colorado. It's not too oh, okay. bad. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So it's still a sun lamp would be very helpful for him. <laughs> make sure he's getting his vitamin D from foods also. There's uh, lots of good foods uh, that ha contain vitamin D. Mushrooms contain vitamin D. Organ meats. I'm sure he's, he's probably a hunter, I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm sure. But a fisherman. Fish. Lots of great fish. Fish is a good source of vitamin D. Uh, and then also vitamin E. And also you might want to try coenzyme Q10, fat-soluble coenzyme Q10. All the B-complex, you're getting that in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but I would take extra B-complex. And if you can do this, I don't know if you can do this in Alaska, um, if they have uh, places where you can get intravenous nutrition, that will also help him. IV nutrition, particularly IV glutathione. Have you heard of this, glutathione? No. Glutathione is the body's primary disease fighter. It's made out of the amino acid glutamine, which will help him. He can use glutamine. Glutamine, glycine, and... Uh, uh, MSM sulfur, and I forgot the third, there's a third peptide, a third amino acid in there, and I've actually forgotten what that is. Glutamine, glycine, and cysteine. Uh, make sure he takes some NAC, that would help him too. NAC with the selenium, NAC, you probably heard of that. NAC, you can get that at the health food store. All right, so there's lots of great things you could do. Focus on the food, use the nutritional supplements. If he really wants to go all out, he can just keep his insulin and blood sugar down by eating more protein containing foods. Going ketogenic, I, I don't know if you heard of the ketogenic diet, that's another strategy strategy you can use. It's a high fat, low calorie, low carb diet. And uh, high fat, we're talking olives and coconut oil and, and avocados, etc. And obviously high fat can be helpful for, uh, for helping make myelin. Uh, so many things you could do, Elaine, and none of them involve a doctor or a drug. And thank you so much for your call. We're just out of time. Did I help you? Any, anything? You want yeah, to add? just any advice on the tech Padera? Uh, it's not going to help him, put it that way. I'd be weaning myself off of it. It's not one of the worst drugs he could take. There are definitely worse ones, but uh, it's not going to help him, his MS. All right. Thanks. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate you, Lane, and have a beautiful day. And that's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Have a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.